U.S. Or so we're driving. Missouri we're driving to go to the Social Security oh, office to get Miss Tabitha. Her last name changed. She's got her Social Security card. Yep. She's got her birth certificate. Yep. She's got a letter from the president. She's got the marriage license. <laughs> when Tabitha told me that they check for knives at the Social Security office to get your information and stuff, I told her that I would be wearing as many knives, concealing as many knives as I possibly could. And she said that's all that she cared for. That that's all she was asking. All I was asking. All I needed. And now, now this is happening. I'm going to turn. Oh, but look at this. The floodgates have opened. We're gonna die! Ah! Okay, we're fine. We're okay. Um, when I was a kid, my parents would always say, someone open the gate when there was a bunch of cars coming down the road and we were trying to like get onto the road. Okay, question. How is it the first spot there is not a handicapper? I don't know. There's handicap. There's handicap. There's a lot of handicap that direction, but this one is not handicap that we just got. And you know what that means? It's time for... Best spot in the lot. What? 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 Best spot in the lot. Try to try the door. Boom! <laughs> Monday through Tuesday till 3 p.m. What it's time like is it? 3:30, 4. <laughs> so let's get back in the. the... Guess what it's time for? Well, I didn't really feel like getting frisked anyway. It's time for coffee. You know what? This, sorry, this cover, it's getting really annoying. This cover, it's great. I loved it at first, but it's it's stretched out. It's all just rubbery, and now it doesn't fit the phone right, so it's done. It's going in there. Not anymore. We had to move. We had to leave. Now it's not the best spot. There's grime underneath the cover of my phone now. I don't know. Where are we getting coffee? I like Barnes and Noble because then we can read magazines. Can we go Starbucks? Yeah, Starbucks and Barnes and Noble is good. Okay. Cool. Oh, See? That's how teamwork works, guys. We did that together. We <laughs> teamed that out so that we could uh, make sure that we, you know, oh, communicated well. I feel, like, I feel like my neck, like I'm stretching it out where it's like. You like that? Like your stretch too far? Like a turtle. Well, your headrests are newer, so they. Uh, does that feel right now? No, I just wasn't even touching it. I was like driving like this. Uh oh. Like a turtle. Oh, look, it's focusing now. It's focusing on the fly. Wow. Oh, auto. Auto focus. Why wasn't that selected already? Oh, I must have touched the screen so it focused on a point. I hope. It Sorry if the stuff that we've already done is blurry. My bad. So now you get to see our beautiful faces. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> <laughs> Green light, go! So we get in trouble a lot at, at stoplights because we tend to play the old smoochy face a lot at stoplights. Make out point. It's and not then, the stoplight. It's what everyone seems to agree on except for us. And then um, people honk at us. Which I always thought, uh, oh, people that kiss and get all mushy in public. Ugh, ugh, ugh. And now I'm like, whatever. I don't care what they say. Uh, I'm kind of speeding. A little sugar guy. <gasps> 25 miles an hour! Uh, here's a funny thing. I got a ticket. For the first time in a long time. In her, before she got this car. So, what else did you do today? You... Oh, I hope the blower for the AC... Sorry if the blower on the AC was just we're, blowing we're, on the microphone. We're, what, we're the noobs. I, uh... Called up ATT. I did. I realized ATT has overcharged me. Um, like a lot. A lot. Probably like $70. Actually, it is $70. They're overcharging me every month. And, um... I've called them and called them in the beginning, and I would fight them. And then finally, one... Like everybody I talked to kept explaining it away, saying that I was getting charged for a legitimate reason. Well, I just kind of let it go, and I just ended up paying it, like paying the hundred and 
Sometimes it was 110, sometimes it was 130. I hate phone phone companies, by the way. Don't get me started. <laughs> I will kill them. With their with her fist. Um, when they picked up the phone, I didn't even want to have it with them. I, I didn't think that they would because I know that companies like that have to uh, they have to try to keep you. So I just said, as soon as they said hello, how can I help you? I said I want off your phone service. Dro I want to drop you. And so she immediately like sent me over to retention. She said that she could take $70 off and she was also going to like take a $50 surcharge off that was going to come for them canceling the phone but turning the internet back on. Sorry, this is turning out to a really complicated Long basically, story short. <laughs> basically, I turned a hundred and let's say 120 on average bill into a $35 bill because it was awesome. It kind of made me love her a little bit more because it was like, she can haggle, girl. She also haggled $1,000 off this very car. Here is, here, here is the thing you need to understand. Everybody has a boss. Uh, most people will give you anything you want if you fight them enough for it. Yeah. Don't be a bully, but know how to push your way through when somebody's going to bully and you. And fold your arms. That's all I'm saying. We fight. We fight for right your there. right. I, have good deals. Yeah, like, haggle. want to rip you like a... I used to kind of be afraid a little bit. I did haggle once for a guitar. Yes. Me, well, please. okay, the, the tire was flat. We were going to go out to Belton to get the rest of the wedding stuff because it's almost been a month and there's still stuff out at our friend Jim and Diane's house. So we were going to go and then it was raining and there was a flat tire so we had to take care of the flat tire thing. By the time that was all done, I was pouring sweat... <laughs> And I was just like, I really don't want to carry things in the rain today. Best spot in again? Yeah. Best spot in the one twice in one day. Every time at Barnes and Noble. I can't. I can't get out of the car. There's a bush trying to. Okay, let's see if we can get out. Okay. Come out. Bush. They need to trim that. Look, that's the curb. That's the curb. That's the bush. It's like six inches. Look at that. Up with that. I'm gonna do undercover videoing of us ordering coffee. <laughs> they can't accept tips here legally, so I'm just gonna leave. magazine do I want to read? Hmm. What should I read? Matt Damon. Okay. Um, did I actually look at that one last time? That one's in cellophane. 50 years, Doctor Who. I'll check that one out. It's kind of cool. Hmm. That might be kind of cool. Alright, let's... Tabby is definitely addicted to coffee. Oh, that's perfect. So what are you researching here? <clears throat> I'm thinking about getting my hair cut. And I'm looking to see what I like. Something that's not Easy too to fashioned. Yet, I don't want it to be like, I don't know, like that. I have to say, I don't know how um, YouTubers actually get over it. Like, the embarrassment of 
vlogging in public. You'll get, it'll get easier because eventually you'll just learn how to have no shame and you'll do anything in public. So we read some magazines and Ooh, it's hot in here. I learned that uh, the engine room of the Star Trek Enterprise on the new Star Trek movies was filmed in a Budweiser brewery. I really like Star Trek a lot. So um, you'll probably hear me say things about Star Trek. Alright, we're home. Let's go find Niles. Got my house key. What? Just tasting it. I keep tasting the milk really bad. Oh. Niles! Niles! Hi, kitty. Oh, he's in my bobby. That's all. I just, I just machine gun kiss him. That's all. He loves it. He does. He's a good cat. Yes. That's all. He likes love. Meow. A lot. Where's your mama me? Meow. He's like, don't look at me. He's sleepy. Say bye. Goodbye to YouTube, Niles.